Uh, the new Lazy May single was written by Lazy May and then with, with a, an outside writer called uh, Gavin. Um, and uh, it's, it's a bit of a, a movement away from, from the, the kind of electro folk Lacey May sound. It's still there in bits and bobs and pieces, but it's, uh, it's a little bit more pop, a little bit more driving. The process for Tiptoe has been really relaxing, we've had a lot of fun, I think Anti-Motion was the perfect environment to record this song and yeah we've just had a really good time with it and we've worked at our own pace which has been great so we've had a lot of time to put some love into this one. Each time you say my name, it all just Production wise we had Dave and Rob working together a lot which was great. Dave had a huge influence on this song. I think he really just brought our ideas to life. Um, Kelly and I have no production experience whatsoever so it's amazing working with somebody that just gets it immediately. And yeah, Dave has a lot of experience. He's the best. So it differs from our previous single in the sense that um, the new one is more fun, light-hearted and there's more of a pop element that filters through. Um, also while, while working on the single we really were open-minded to collaborating and working with other musicians and writers. Our new single, Tiptoe, could be perceived in two different ways. The first could be that whole feeling of young love, the uncertainty, the butterfly in your tummy kind of feeling. And the second could be, you know, just doing whatever you want and, and not waiting around for things to happen and just getting up and going for it. We got to write um, with a lovely gentleman by the name of Gavin Edwards who's written all over the place in Nashville and he's got a lot of experience so the three of us wrote together um, with Rob's help and yeah it was a lovely process I think it opened our minds up a lot to collaborating with other writers and yeah, it was a great process.